Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome to a brand new series in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So, a few days ago, Bannerlord got its 1.0 release on Steam, leaving early access as well as its console debut on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Xbox console. So this week, I decided to jump back into it and stream it for a little while. Now overall, throughout the early access, it feels like not that much has really changed. But I still really enjoyed my time with it and just being back in Calradia, so I thought why not boot up the series here on YouTube and continue the fun. So, I'm going to be playing the Sandbox, which turns off the main storyline, which honestly isn't really something I think that we're going to miss too much. It's kind of in the background and it's sort of just tedious to get done. Instead, I'm going to be playing as someone with Vlandian culture, and I'm specking them to be good on horseback, proficient with pole arms, and a decent leader. Occasionally, though, we may hop off our high horse and get down and dirty on the ground with the plebs, of course. Now, I'll be playing on the hardest difficulty without any mods, at least for this first playthrough here on YouTube, and I'll be turning off death for companions as they tend to die a lot, and it's kind of out of your control a lot of the time. Not always. Now, something kind of unique for this playthrough is that I'm going to be playing the game a lot in first person, and I turn a lot of the UI off. I don't really like seeing icons floating above people or seeing arrows on my screen for where I'm facing. I, you know, I think the game is just much more immersive and impressive when you turn all that off. Now, I haven't really seen anyone else do this on YouTube, so hopefully it's still enjoyable to watch this way. So, seeing as we're in a sandbox, what are my goals for the playthrough? Well, broadly speaking, I'm hoping to become a Vlandian Lord, obtain some fiefdoms, build an elite cavalry army, set up some workshops, and maybe, just maybe, if the series does really well and continues for a while, might even have time to attempt to form our own kingdom at the end by declaring independence. Now, obviously, I'm open to suggestions, so if there's something you'd like to see me do, I'll try and give it a go, and it's going to be pretty beginner-friendly at the first few episodes as well. So that's it. I'm really excited but a little bit nervous, as it's a little different from my YouTube channel. But if you're enjoying the video, something you kind of like to see, then obviously leave a like, some feedback with comments, etc, etc. It is appreciated. Alright, let's begin. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fractured Lands of Kalradia. So you find me just outside of Sargot, a city in the western part of Kalradia, under the rule of the Vlandian Kingdom. Now, I'm not under the rule of the Vlandian Kingdom, I'm a free agent in this world, my banner is blue. But of course, we'll be looking to pledge our allegiance to Vlandia at some point in the future, once we're able to. And I thought I'd just give you guys the lay of the land for beginners and advanced players alike. At the year 1084, the current state of Kalradia as a continent, who owns what and what everyone specializes in, so we're all on the same page. Over in the west, the red territories are Vlandian Kingdom, which is basically where we're starting. We are of Vlandian descent and culture which is going to help us a little bit with getting people to like us and getting ingratiated there, but really it's actually just going to help us with our riding skill and different things like that. Vlandi are known for lancer cavalry, polearm infantry, that kind of thing, particularly adept with, well, really high tier kind of cavalry effectively, and this kind of nobility class divide sort of situation. Then to our north, the green here, is the Batanians. Ferocious, warlike, barbarians, some may say. Forest dwellers, tree munchers, <laughs> the Batanians are particularly adept with, I think, archers, uh, with bows and bows and arrows, and javelins in particular as well. The Fian champions are great archers, actually one of the best units for that in the game. To the north, we then have the blue territories of the Sturgeons, a Viking, another ferocious Viking Norse culture that, you know, are going to get right up in your face, two-handed axes and beat your... Sh Basically, just bash your shield down and beat you to the break your knees until they are face down in the snow. During winter, this whole place gets covered and they are particularly good at traversing the winter months. To the east, we then have the Fractured Empire in a current civil war, though not necessarily in open conflict all the time. They get armistices and peace and stuff like that, but generally speaking, we have the north the South and the Western Empires, which are vying for power over one another and also trying to keep would-be onlookers at bay who are looking to take a peace. And such people would be the Kazates to the Northeast, a sort of a steppe faction, tribal, nomadic, horse archer focused, one of the most cancerous things in any video game or in anything in real life as well, firing at you from a distance like the cowards they are and then running off. Hate horse archers with a passion. Um, so you're gonna be st I'm glad I'm literally on the opposite side of the world to them. And then down in the south we have the Asarai. A sort of a Bedouin inspired sort of tribal desert nomadic sort of faction. Um, 
pretty good trade, really unique items down there, great cavalry, really good unique horses that you can find down there, good breeds, and then also, uh, yeah, like good trades, different things like spices and stuff that you can find. I'm trying to think, do they specialize in anything else? Oh, archers, I believe, are quite good down there also, but foot archers, not necessarily horse archers. I forgot to mention the Empire themselves are, I guess, I suppose, loosely based on a post-Roman, you know, I guess, well, really, Byzantine Empire, early Byzantine sort of medieval empire kind of thing. Um, and that's, they're basically all-rounders. I don't think they're necessarily good at any one thing. Good infantry, I suppose, but not, like, particularly amazing or anything. Um, so, yeah, that's, and they kind of share their roster with everyone between them. All right, so that kind of gives you the lay of the land. The current situation then for myself, actually, before we go any further, we'll just go through the UI very quickly. We have our gold, our current dinars is the name of the kind of currency in the game. Then we have influence, which we'll talk about later. He health points, that's just of me as a character, not necessarily of anything else. Uh, battle ready troops, just the one. It's just me in the party, party of one. That's my kind of party. And then the food. We're carrying a sack of grain, which will last me for 20 days. We've got 50 morale, which is based on food variety, whether we've won battles, that kind of thing. Keeping morale high means that people are less likely to run away during the, during the battles, especially if things start to go wrong. Party speed, a very important metric. I'll be holding alt every now and then. You'll see my name and then also our party speed, and I'll be comparing it to the other people around us which will be chasing us or will be chasing them. So we want to know who's faster. To be faster, we need more horses, less people on foot, and less pack animals in general. Our view distance, it's 12. Don't necessarily know what that is in terms of radius, but of course, once we start seeing things pop into view, that gives us an idea of where that 12 roughly is. And then our daily party wage. As it's just myself, I'm not paying myself a wage. Uh, so it's just we don't we're not spending anything so we can just roam around like this for quite a while Although it's obviously we're very vulnerable this way with just the just ourselves So the flow state of the game is effectively that is a real-time game with four seasons and one month to a season That's just the way the world works here And uh, there's a day and night cycle and everything that kind of goes by as that day and night cycle happens, as the game is playing, as it's in real time, a simulated economy is happening where people from these little villages will pack up the goods that they make there. Every village specializes in something that they make. For instance, Etterford makes grain. Kaliok makes what looks like maybe nuts or something. In fact, you can actually learn about it. Let's see. Kaliok. Uh, the people of this, they are flax, of course. Excuse me. Anyway, yeah, they grow flax on these marshy lands. Now, Durthert is the ruler of Landia, and he's actually the ruler and owner of Kaliok, which is a bound settlement to Sargot. Um, so villages are bound to the bigger cities. So this is the city Sargot. Ediford and Kaliok are both bound to it. So whoever rules Sargot also rules these two, and that's going to be the king of the Vlandians, Durthert. Uh, which we'll be talking to. We'll have to pledge allegiance to him in the future. If we want to become a vassal, we have to talk to him directly and find him. All right, so when time is playing, you'll see these little villagers actually moving their goods to and from different places. So that means when a war is happening, you know, they might get interrupted. They might get their villages raided. The goods might stop being produced. The markets might crash, as it were, and you might not be able to get something that you need. And your caravans that are out in the world that are delivering things to and from places making money are going to be shortchanged. So it's really cool how all of that works. Uh, just out of curiosity, if people hear popping in the background, it's because it's... I live in England, and I believe it's Guy Fawkes night tonight, so there's some fireworks and stuff going off. Apologies. Uh, right, I think we can pretty much get into things. I don't think we have to waste any more time. Actually, one last thing, I suppose. Just to bring you up to speed, we have our character sheet. This game is actually an RPG, not necessarily a strategy game, although the two kind of go hand in hand, I suppose. Um, but this RPG really is from my perspective here as a character, and... You know, when you go into a battle, you're commanding troops and everything, but you're not commanding an RTS style. You're commanding it from the perspective of this guy. And if you go down, you can't command anymore. So it very much is an RPG with stats and skills and relations to other people. You can even have a wife and kids and all of this. So our skills here, we have the attribute tier, and that kind of encapsulates then three skills over from it. So directly across from Vigor is one-handed, two-handed polearm. They all kind of uh, contribute to each other. Uh, in terms of the Vigor skill, and then within here, these little bars are focus points. So when you level up, you get focus points, and then putting focus points into things is effectively like running an XP boost uh, permanently as well, I think. So it's at your, your learning rate. So I've already boosted uh, Polearm, Riding, Tactics, Charm, Leadership, Steward, and Trade. 
Um, yep, that's pretty much everything I boosted. So when I do any of those things, you know, if I kill someone with a polearm or I hit someone with a polearm, we're going to get six and a half times the XP from it now. So it's going to give us a nice big boost. Over on the... And you can actually do this for other characters we have in our party, but we don't have anyone, have anyone else yet. In our inventory then, we currently have what we have equipped for our shield, our sword, and our simple commoner spear. We have our clothes, our horse. We just have a sumpter horse right now, which is actually a pack animal. It's used for carrying goods. It's a mount, but it's not a war horse or a proper uh, war mount. So as a result, it's going to be very slow in battle. Not great at maneuvering, not great at slowing down, stopping, turning, doing anything too crazy. And it's going to be kind of slow overall. No offense to it. I feel bad. It's looking right at me like I'm just, you know, insulting it. Uh, but, you know, its job, unfortunately, for it is carrying things. And, well, maybe fortunately, depending how you look at it, not getting into the front lines of battle. But we're going to be taking it into the front lines until we get a better horse. Uh, we also have our civilian outfit that we can wear around towns. doesn't actually affect anything, but it can be important to carry something here because you might get into gang fights and stuff. Uh, right, nothing else really to look at there. Obviously, our inventory, our food, that kind of thing. We only have just food right now with us. Uh, let's switch now to party. Party is very similar thing. We just have ourselves, so nothing really too crazy here. But this is the screen where we'll be upgrading troops, uh, looking at our prisoners, that kind of thing, uh, taking on extras. Our quests, active quests, old quests are the ones that you completed or failed. And then our clan screen. Clan screen is how many people are in our family, our wife, our kids, um, brothers, and so on and so forth. Whatever we may end up getting. Companions then are the other characters that are in the world that we can then go and send around on different missions. Or just keep them in our party to supplement us. They can actually be assigned to different roles and jobs such as surgeon or quartermaster to improve various things like healing um, and that sort of thing. Inside of party then we can actually create new parties and send off those companions around the world to do their own thing We could even load them up as caravans if we go into uh, towns I think I think you can put them on the head of caravans But either way you can purchase caravans send them out around the world to do trade for you Thieves we could own towns castles that kind of thing uh, and Manage them as well you can build buildings inside of them and stuff and then workshops and supporters I actually don't know what supporters are but workshops are when you Go into a town, you have a bunch of money, you normally need about 20,000 or something. You can purchase an industry and then change it and get it to make something. And then it'll make goods, flood the market with something, hopefully, and you can even buy from it cheaply uh, yourself. And also just get a little bit of money in residuals over time from profits. And that's pretty much it. The, clans, uh, the kingdom screen is offline to us right now. We are of Clan Caesar, just because it's a cool name. And I've named myself Darren with a Y, just to be a little bit different. All right. That's everything. Let's begin. We can finally play the game. All right, here at the town of Sargot. We hadn't let time play yet. Durthert and Edrond has just gotten all the recruits here, so there's probably not going to be anyone for us to gather. Nope, they just got everyone. Good job. So Durthert's actually here. And he's got a quest. What is his quest? Whoops. I don't know. Let's have it. Oh, I can't talk to him. Sorry, he's in the keep. We can't get into the keep yet. That's fine. We have Durald the Steward. His associates have been captured by bounty hunters. That's a quest that he has. That's fine. Don't worry about it. So when we go into the recruit troop screen, these different characters, if you build up their relations, they'll open up more slots for you to get more troops from them. So obviously we want to be doing that in the future. Um, while we're here, I think I'm going to head north. We'll go to Ederford. We'll get some grain. We'll circle around to Rodotan. Try to pick up some troops, and then we'll get into this main Vlandian territory here where we can just cycle through these towns over and over. It gets kill some looters, rank our boys up, hire some people, etc. etc. Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna go to Ederford first. Who's this? We have Romand next to us. He's traveling with 129 troops right now. We want to hit these towns before them so we can gather hopefully some recruits for ourselves. Got a few, just have three, so it's gonna cost us 60. And they're just going to be recruits, so pretty standard troops. And as we fight battles, we'll level them up. Let's buy some grain. A couple sacks should do us. Let's get three. It's, usually, it's actually not that cheap, considering. All right, let's make our way north. So something I'm going to be doing during this playthrough is largely just staying with Vlandian troops and culture, because I want to get the Vlandian cavalry later on down the line. So I'm just really going to be sticking with Vlandians. not going to be hiring outside of our culture, really, unless I'm absolutely desperate to. Because uh, it just gets messy. And we only we can only have a party of 20 anyway, so I might as well just get 20 Vlandians. Now, when we get a lot bigger, yeah, we can have auxiliary contingents of Batanian fiends or whatever it might end up being. So there's um, two speeds in the game, normal and speed up. Uh, fast forward, I guess. So I'll be doing that every now and then. We've got another cavalry unit here. 
200 gold though, it's 10 times the price of a regular recruit. And I can't upgrade them, because we need to buy horses to upgrade those specifically. So I won't be able to do that. So I'll just leave them. So basically I'm just on a mission to find recruits. Gotta be careful not to run into... Yeah, four looters. Four looters is fine, right? We can fight four looters. They're actually scared of me. The cowards. Eleven looters, okay. <laughs> I'll go this way then. Oh my god, the speed. 4.9, we're at 5.4. We'll just hit this town. That's 15. So if we could pick up like 10 people, that'd be great. we we'll fight a nice big battle right away. We're paying our gold now. Six gold in wages per day. Some cavalry. Man, it's awfully tempting, but it's just a waste of money. While money is tight, we've only got 853. Good thing is we're faster than these guys, so no big deal. Alright, we have five troops in total. They're actually running away from me now. When I had five, they're like, no, not good anymore. But I actually think with five, it'd still be. They'd kill all my guys. Like, we might win, but they'd probably kill everybody. I'll right, just make our way to the next town of Fregin. Pick up recruit. Uh, recruits, uh, ideally, we'd fight some battles when we get to about ten or so. We're currently on seven. And our speed is slowing down all the time because we are buying um, just regular footmen. So they're going to slow us down without any horses. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, we'll hit this town, then this one. I guess we'll go to this one first and come back into Pravend. Now, I'm looking for quests as well. I'm not seeing any, so we'll just keep moving. Our, our sight range is halved during the night, by the way. So we can see nothing around us, really. So that looks like it just went to daytime, went up to 12. So that seems to be about the range we have if it's in open plains. But of course, people get hidden in the trees, so you got to watch out for that. This person just purchased seven recruits. There's going to be no one left here. <laughs> God damn. Look at the draw, though, sometimes. And it just takes them a while to come back, basically. All right, we're up to nine. So if we find find some looters, you know, six, seven looters, whatever, on their own, we can get a couple of battles going, get our first, get our spears wet. There's a quest here. Let's check it out. Oh, there we go. There's loads of people here. Great. All right, we're up to 14. Excellent. So what's the quest? Army of poachers. Too big for us. I know some of the quest names are. There's not that many in the game, so a lot of them will be a little bit too high tier for us early on. All right, let's make our way south. See if we can fight anyone else. Or find anyone else to fight. There's a quest here at Rolund, depending on what it is. We might be able to help them out. And the reason we do those is to build up the relations so we can recruit more quickly. Deliver the herd to Maranath. That could be... Yeah, that's doable. There we go, 18. Let's talk. See if he can give it to us. Sometimes they don't if we're too low tier. Is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Right. They know me as Darren. Mark it down. You should be hearing of me a lot. I am Undgar. I own land around here, okay? You have a problem? Yeah, well, some people here are a bit short of money these days. We put together a herd of 10 head of cattle to sell in Maranath. But they're poor folks, not really fighters, and they can't afford to hire guards. If they go there by themselves, they'd be sitting ducks for any bandits. Tell me how I can help. If you take the dire in the direction of Maranath, you can perhaps take our herd there to the Sleepy Fionara. Sleepy Fionara, hmm. I'm willing to pay 1,800 gold if you can deliver them safe and sound. Is there any other way? Look, I'm going to say I, I'd love to do it, but I actually, 10 cattle is a lot, and I don't think I will be able to do it. So I'll have to just come back. I'll come back. We'll be back. You'll still have it for us in the future. We'll come back. That'll be a fun one to do. Just because there's no doubt in my mind we'll get attacked, and just having 18 recruits is not going to be good enough when you're carrying 10 cavalry. It's a lot of money, though. I mean, that is 1,800 gold. Let's get the last couple of guys here if we can. And there we go, we're 20 out of 20 now. We just need to find a battle. Or a fight. We'll come back down south, we'll break out down towards Nogrent, Galland, Furbeck, and Merok. See what we can see around here. No quests, no point visiting the towns, there's nothing to do with them right now. 20 sea raiders is actually way too strong for me. It's funny, they're gonna run away from me, probably. Oh, they're patrolling their hideout. I mean, sea raiders have decent equipment, we're recruits. We just have to be honest with ourselves and what we have and what our capabilities are. They're not great. Now, if I could get myself a better horse, I'd like to do that, actually. That'd be good. Oh my god. Hang on a sec. 
All right, sorry about that. My keyboard just disconnected somehow, but it's working again, so it's fine. That was really weird. I just noticed, like, I was pressing, like, to speed up and nothing was happening. Anyway, back on the grind. Hey, 10 looters. Yes, they'd be perfect to fight. So, any quests here? Gang needs recruits. Can't do that yet. They need to be more than actual recruits, but, um... No horse that we can use. Okay, let's just go out and see if we can fight these guys. There's only 10 of them. Let's just speed up and head towards them. Ooh, there was some other dudes nearby. I just want to be careful. Fighting 16 of them might be a little bit more tricky. They'll fight together. Anyone that's hostile to you is going to fight together, even if they're different groups. So we're slightly faster than that one. We're actually way faster than the Sea Raiders. It is tempting, but I'm not going to risk it. Let's just go for these. Oh, shit. This is dangerous territory out here. I do not like this. They're converging on me. So no way. Back out. The looters are backing out as well, which is kind of good. Am I faster than them? I'm actually just barely faster than them, but I am. Alright, we should be okay to get away. Aldrich, he's chasing those looters. Hey! What the hell's just happened again? I just stopped. I don't know why I just stopped. Just get me into the town. Keep me safe for a second. Alright, let's chase. I think they went out of my line of sight, which is why. 16. Alright, let's go for them. Big fight. Big looter fight. Come on. Just fight me. So close. Let's go. Mess with us and we'll sell our lives dear. Alright, here we go. The first battle. 20 versus 16. A decent size. Alright, let's go. My scouting skill has gone up to level 11, so... Oh, yeah, so because we have 20, we actually get this little deployment screen now. It's a new addition since early access. Um, yeah, just put them up on the hill, put them out in a line, let them do their thing. Alright. Alright, boys. I paid you all very well. Some of you may die. That is a sacrifice that I am willing to make in order for progress. Some of you will succeed. And become footmen and crosswomen and be given specialized weapons and mounts of your own. Maybe even land one day. Where's the enemy? Just over the hill there. Footmen! Forward! Line up over here, please. A basic order, some might say. God, it's very quiet. Let's take our lance out. There they are. In fact, just pull a little Warrior! bit further back. Move! A little bit further back. The reason I'm doing this is just to give me more clearance with the cavalry, the horse, because um, they're on the edge of a kind of a cliff there. A little bit further back. All right. Engage. I'll go for some at the back if I can. 70 damage. I'll take it. God damn, they're actually killing a lot of us. Hey, ugh. I can't believe I went down in the first battle, but there you go. Sorry, guys. It's all good, though. They did fine. I'll be fine. We'll get up. So how many of us died? 13 of us died? Wow. And I got wounded, so it was literally one-to-one. -one. Like, it was 14 of us that went down, 14 of them went down. God damn. Hey, we got some renown, we got some morale. It'll be fine. We'll get some of that loot, sell it. Some of our guys will level up. The six of them that were left all leveled up after such a traumatic experience. We'll take on all of this stuff. We'll have a look at it in a moment. So that's just all the loot there, basically. So we're going to be... Are we disorganized? We're actually not. So yeah, just really quickly, let's go in here. The Vlandian recruits, they, be they can become either crosswomen or footmen. So we'll just make footmen for now. Just tell all of them to upgrade. So that's going to cost us 90 gold. That's fine. And then in our inventory screen. Can't believe I went down the first battle. So embarrassing. I'm so sorry. I did kind of just stop on the horseback. And I was like, oh, we could just poke these guys. But they, they took me down. What can I say? Lesson learned, though. Um, so, yeah. Any javelins or anything? No. Are these better than what I'm wearing? I'm wearing horseman boots. So what's on the left is mine. What's on the right is theirs. Uh, yeah, fine wrap shoes. They're actually better than what I'm wearing. Let's go. We then have battered worn robe. Nope. 
fine sleeveless enveloped padded garments. A little bit of padding helps, I suppose. Only barely. I mean, it doesn't look like it's better, but it apparently is. It weighs a little less, and it has slightly better leg and arm armor, despite having cut off arms. So there you go. That's what you're dealing with in this game. All right, let's hit done. Let's just try to get to a town and sell this stuff and get some recruits again. That so wasn't worth it, by the way, losing that many people to fight that to get that loot. I don't think it paid for the people that we had. Let's get these guys in as well. 12. But, you know, now we've got some footmen, so that's something. That's progress. That's what that is. We're healing extremely slowly also. Yeah, I want to stay away from the coast there. There's too many sea raiders. They'll destroy me. All right, let's trade. If I just lock down the... We don't have any food left, no? That's it. I have to buy some food then. We don't need to lock anything. We'll just sell all of this. It's 528 gold. Actually, it's not that bad. I suppose we did get a decent amount. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. I was just trying to work out in my head. Like, we lost 13... 12 people, I guess, or 13 people. And they were 20 each. So, I guess we made money? <laughs> Slightly? We're up to 819. suppose we're doing something right. All right, cool. Let's keep getting more troops. Try to keep leveling them up. We're being chased, I feel like. There we go. Another bunch of recruits. We're back up to 20. It's like nothing ever happened. Now, I'm really severely injured, so I actually can't take part in any fights right now. So what we might do... Oh, I was going to say look for a tournament, but I can't even do that. Well, I suppose quests. Anything we could do for quests? Train troops. No, I can't do that for you. I'm so sorry. We'll be able to do these quests no problem if I just build up a little bit more. In and out. What's this? I, I don't think. I heard you have a problem. You can't help me. I need someone who's gold to spend. Well, excuse me. All right. So if we look at our party now, we have six Vlandian footmen, and then thirteen Vlandian recruits, and we're also still carrying two prisoners. And we can recruit them if we want, actually. Um, but no, we'll just sell them at the tavern up here. There's a oh yeah, there is a tournament going on here. Now if we wait here for a while, we'll heal a little bit faster. So maybe I'll just have to do that. Uh, don't need to trade, sorry. We need to go to the tavern and say, Ransom prisoners, see you later. Back off. Trade and maybe purchase a saddle horse. It's better than what we're using. Put the saddle horse on here. The sumter horse now will just act as basically uh, carry loot. You know, it'll just carry loot for us. So we have 500 gold. I'm going to have to wait here until we just heal a little bit. So we can get back in. The healing rate, we don't have a surgeon. Or at least I'm the surgeon. So I'm not very good at it. Alright, we're on 20%. Let's head out. I swear, maybe I'll just wait a full day. What have you got? His associates have been captured by bounty hunters and gang needs recruits. Can't do these yet. Damn, I'm looking for a quest which is just transporting stuff. But the guy that wanted me to transport stuff is actually like, um... It's pretty high tier, or it's 10 cavalry, or 10 cattle. It's quite a lot. So we are 4.9, they are 5 speed. We're not going to really catch, catch them then unless we get lucky. We'll just follow out this way into... Ooh, 12 looters. That's perfect. Let's go to them. Their speed's 3.4. Ours is 3.5. Alright, we're on the trail. Oh, come on. We're so There we go. We got him. Okay, cool. And we fought them during the day. Good. All right. Let's go. All right. Pretty much this is going to be the way it is for a few of these battles. These early battles can be rough, but you got to do them. You got to get that leveling up. So let's just get on the hill. Take the hill. I'll try to give a better show this time with my lance. Check out the god rays. All right. Where are they? They're just down there. Uh... Warriors! Will I give them a shield wall? Can they do that even? They have shields. Might as well shield wall. All right, let's go. I'll see if I can poke one of them. And get lucky. Got one. 74. These should be like almost instant kills every time, really. 64 damage. That helps. Just going to wheel around. New horse who this. <laughs> I got him. All right, by the way, uh, for those wondering... Oh my god, is he just standing back throwing stuff? There we go. Nice. Nice. For those wondering, 
There is friendly fire in the game, but it's not with melee weapons. Friendly fire only happens if you are throwing something, so you can kill your own allies if you know with projectiles. But if I'm charging into them, I don't I don't hurt them and I don't uh, do melee damage with a lance, so it's pretty safe to play that way. Just in case you're wondering, I'll try not to. I don't, I don't try not to break my own immersion too much, but just be aware of that. All right, there we go. We only lost two people this time. A resounding success. 1.6 renown, 1.3 morale. Much better. Good. Nice. Love to see it. All right, we got three looters as prisoners. So that, honestly, for the money, it's not even worth taking them on. Just let them go. It's fine. Um, but yeah, we'll take all their stuff. Pickaxes, arm wraps. Let's wrap up our arms. Pilgrim hood. Let's cover up my bald head. What else we got? Uh, commoner tunic, the fine wrapped shoes. This stuff is better than what I have. We've got some cheese. All right, good. We'll just take all this. Let's go. Alrighty. So now we have the disorganized symbol, which means that, like, yeah, we're going to be slow for just a little while, a few hours in game. Um, but just really quickly, let's have a look at our party, how they're doing now. So we have three recruits, which can level up, and three footmen, which can actually level up. Might do that. Just get some spearmen, just to help us with some of the tougher fights. I'm going to keep the other ones not leveled up, and the reason I'm doing that is because more recruits can level up faster as a group together if I don't do that, so they didn't gain much XP, probably because the guys with shields actually held the front. You know, these guys had shields, I told them to go into shield wall. These don't, so they stayed at the back. So they probably don't get much kills, but we're going to have to sort of just like you know, test their metal and get them to get into combat and just see how they do as we level them up. And then once we get a few of them leveled up, we'll start doing some quests. Should be good. All right, recruit troops. We're just lacking two. There we go. Also, when you build up your relations, eventually we'll be able to recruit uh, troops that are a higher tier straight up. So we've leveled up our polearm skill. We can go with either cavalry or pikemen. So cavalry increases your damage by 2% with polearms, but also uh, in cavalry troops in your formation you're leading have their damage increased by 2% or you can go pikemen. Yeah, I'll be on a I'll be on horseback, so I'll go cavalry and it should be the same for riding actually. It's the same thing. Full speed or nimble steed. Increases your charge damage. Mounted troops in your formation gain 10% charge damage or you get riding skill in your formation. I'll go with the charge damage, so damage focus. We've got two attribute points. Gonna go one on one handed. Another one, not medicine. I'll find someone who's a good medic as a, as a companion maybe. But a steward increases party size a little bit. So yeah, let's focus on this. All right, cool. So we just got some troops there. That's all good. How many can I have now? Still 20, so no big deal. All right, let's get going. Let's go find some looters. How's our food? We're pretty low, actually. We'll get some grapes. It's so tempting to recruit the cavalry, but I just can't afford them just yet. The grain prices are getting lower, which is good to see. There's actually grain over here. would have been better. We just bought grain for 18. The grain here is also 18. Ah, oh, no big deal then. No difference. Um, now, so, a really... Ooh, nice. 11 looters. Let's get them. A great trade to do if you're new to the game is going up here, grabbing fur from... Well, fur from anywhere, really. This fur up in Sturgia. And bringing it down and selling it roughly down around Kuyaz or Sanala. Because uh, it's literally the opposite side of the map to them. They don't really get fur very often. Uh, I guess they don't need it either, but it does sell well. You can sell it for, you can buy it for like 110 or something and sell it for like 300. So 300 markup or a three time markup. Just trying to cut these guys off if I can. We're the same speed, so I got to kind of pin them against the walls a bit. All right. Mess with us and we'll got him. 20 versus 11. Let's go. Let's get a little bit better with my spear. Yeah, whatever. Alright, they're over there. Uh, yeah, just do whatever. Put them back. <laughs> Give them hell. Oh, boy. What a speech. Yeah, just do whatever. I'll, I'll do a little circle around and come in in a second. Alright, let's go. 94, good hit. Oh, I totally missed. So sorry, guys. All right, good. Four of us died. Four recruits died. Necessary loss for progress. Let's keep going. They knew the life they signed up to. Now we have eight that can level up, and two of them are wounded. 
Uh, nice, little bit of loot. We can obviously sell all this other stuff as well soon. We'll check everything before we sell it. In fact, let's head up towards uh, Ox Hall. We can sell it there. It's better to sell things in cities than it is in villages, generally speaking. Although some farm equipment can actually go, like pickaxes and hoes and things, they can go for quite uh, a lot of money in the smaller towns. Let's just hit this town really quickly, see if we can get some recruits. We're down to 16 now. Alright, good. Alright, let's just head to Ox Hall. Also, if there's a tournament, it'd be good fun to do one for this first episode, I think. Caravan ambush, overpriced raw materials, and a betting fraud. Let's have a look at one of those in just one second. So trade, let's see. Let's sort by value. Uh, actually, sort by type. I'm just going to lock food. So that's locked. It should stay locked then in the future. So just anything that's better than what I've got. I have ripped arm wraps. Do I? Yep. So it's slightly better arm wraps. A fine pilgrim hood. It's better than the ripped one I have. Good. So yeah, we could just sell all the rest of this stuff then. And that's going to be 436 gold. We're just keeping the grain and the sumter horse for carrying things. Right, we're up to 762. Getting a little bit better. And we've leveled up our people. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at that guy's quest. Overpriced raw materials. Talk to me. Peace to you, stranger. Uh, I'm Otto. I'm a craftsman. A working man. I heard you have a problem. I don't know if you know much about the law here. Craftsmen like me are required to buy our raw materials from local merchants. The other side of the bargain is that they offer us reasonable prices, but they're not doing that. They've come together and agreed on a price that's just too high. They don't care if it ruins us. They can always sell the goods elsewhere, so how can I help? Well, you get around, right? It wouldn't be hard for you to collect the wool we need. If you bring, say, six loads of wool directly to me instead of selling it to the merchants, I'll gladly pay 792. With this, the merchants would have to lower their prices. So I'm just going to write that down. Six wool for 792. It'll say it in the quest screen anyway, but I like to write these things down. Um, if you'll not be able to acquire the goods yourself, you can perhaps assign one of your trusted companions. Somewhat a good understanding of trade and around five troops would do it easily enough, along with 180 dinars to make the purchases. Uh, no, I can do it. I can do it myself. I'll get the six loads of wool, no problem. And bring it back to Otto the, Ch uh, the Chandler. What is it? Chandler, yeah. Uh, now the other guys might be unhappy about that, but... That's just the way it is. So there is sheep down at Nogrint. So we'll head down to Nogrint. Try to pick up six loads of wool. As long as we do it for less than 792, we're making a profit. And that should be easy enough. So in our quest screen, we could just track it here anyway if we wanted to. 29 days left to do it. So we'll just get on this. And of course, fight looters and things on the way. Sea Raiders. Uh, just, I don't know. Should we fight them? There's only four of them. I suppose, yeah, let's go for them. They should have good loot. It's just they're actually typically quite powerful. Is he? Oh, it looks like they have prisoners. Or do they? Oh, maybe not. Anyway, yeah, let's just go. Might tell our guys the shield wall for this one. Just to be safe. I know, there's only four, I know there's only four, but I feel like you'd be surprised. They'll kill every recruit I have. They've got shields, they're decently equipped. That's why I'm not I'm avoiding the raiders, generally speaking. So, in our formation screen, we can uh, basically say... What do we want to do? Shield wall? We just have infantry anyway, right? Yep. Shield wall! Now. Shield wall. Warriors. Move forward. Tight formation, I guess. Get moving! There we go. Have a quick look at them. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Alright, they're throwing javelins and stuff. We don't have anything to throw back. I'm gonna... Whoa, my god, that was close. I need to get myself some javelins, actually. I love throwing javelins on cavalry. So three of them are moving up. Looks like I got one on my... In my view here. Hit his shield. Oh, my god. There's always a bit of lag when it's the first... Hey, guys. Attack now, yeah? <laughs> Shouldn't have to give that order when they're right in your face. 56 damage. There we go. I don't think anyone died. Yeah, good job. Yeah, there's always that first initial, like, you get this big stutter. Or at least I do, on the first attack. It'd be really off-putting. But oh well. Uh, 12 out of 14 recruits can upgrade. I reckon we start upgrading then. Yes! 
A balanced fish harpoon. We can do some throwing now. Like that, I think. No, sorry. Like, uh, like this. So spear first with um, shield, but then if we switch, we take out the harpoon. If we switch again, we take out the sword. Uh, they have some fish, some, some food for us. That's good. And then just some shoes. Um, so leather shoes. Yeah, let's take them on. Oh, sorry. Mine's better than that. Wow. Okay. All right, good. No big deal. Let's upgrade our boys then. So all of these recruits, we have some money. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six crossbowmen, and the rest can be footmen. 180 to upgrade. The The wages are going to rise now also. So let's just organize these guys. So we have, yeah, we'll start with recruits on top. They become footmen. They become spearmen. And then we have landing crossmen as a separate group. All right, cool. The party is expanding. There's a tournament here. I reckon we do the tournament. It could be good fun. We might get some decent gear out of it. Plus, we have stuff to sell, don't we? Uh, not really. I meant to say, actually, at the beginning, Vlandia is currently at war with Sturgia, so we'll be keeping an eye on that and see if any tr territory changes hands. It's kind of coming up in the feed down in the bottom left about various things. Uh, so for trading, we just want to get rid of these two things here. Um, it's also nice to be able to take on some of the... If we go to the tavern, we can see what kind of um, people are available to... like, companions to get. But again, we don't really have much money to hire them just yet. Soon enough, though, we'll get some. Anyway, let's go arena. Enter, join the tournament. Uh, it's a melee fight. As you approach the arena, you overhear gossip about the two contestants and prizes. Apparently, there's two lords with around fighting skills here. There's a segmented Cervillier uh, over male coif. A nice helmet kind of thing for the victor, is it? Or is it the kind of arm neck guard thing? That's a, well, it's kind of both. Uh, yeah, wow, that'd be pretty cool to have. Uh, so we're in two big groups. So red versus blue. We'll let this round go by. And then we'll be fighting here. So I'm with the Sergeant Vulglier Spearman against very similar stuff. So instead of the Vulglier, they have a hardened crosswoman. But we'll be using all different types of equipment. You don't know until you start really... Well, it said melee fight, so let's go. Oh, I could bet on myself just a teensy bit. Don't have much money. But I'll put down 25 gold on this round. Let's go. Oh, we're on horseback. Let me just get a bit of range first. I'll go for the guys that are on foot. Oh, it's a couch lance as well. 42 damage delivered. Good, good. I'm going to couch my lance. Oh, I missed him. Got to watch out for these crossbowmen. Don't hit me. 43 damage again. All right, just going to wheel around a bit. Try this again. 49. My god, he must be on nothing. Humans have about 100 health, I think. Whereas horses have something like 3 or 400. Damn, it's it's a 2v4. Alright, I got one. Oh my god, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Oh, come on. Damn. Sorry, guys. I think we're out. Fun fight, though. Damn. Oh, well. Skip, skip. We can watch the final round just to see what happens. So, Jacorius of the Eleftherioi versus the Vlandian Gallant. Now, tournaments are actually generally fairly easy most of the time, but... I don't know. Early game. What can I say? Wow. Well, that was crazy. Okay. Well, GG, I guess. We only lost 25 gold, no big deal. Sorry I didn't get the win. I'll get it in future, I promise. See, it's so annoying starting a series like this because it's like it's only going to get more and more interesting as it goes, whereas it starts off so slow, fighting the small battles, but eventually we'll be fighting big battles, having sieges and stuff. So I just hope people stick with it, uh, and I hope, obviously, we can advance quickly. Um, okay, so... Although I feel like we're doing all right already with a party of 20 and slightly better troops, but what we're... What ultimately I'm building towards is trying to get this number up to the top. So we're at 16 now. We've gained 6 Renown. So that's been a bit slow. But we need to fight some more frequent looter battles. And then fight against the uh, various clans and stuff and do different quests. Alright, we'll just they're heading towards the village we want to go to anyway.
Come on. Back off, stranger. All right, let's go. Arrows. Soldiers. Forward. Uh, what's going on? Oh yeah, sorry. We need to say archers in archers. here. Uh, infantry and then cavalry. So I'm just on my own as a cavalry unit. It's fine. All right, archers are slightly on the hill. Ten looters coming over the hill. I now have my harpoons, by the way, so we can maybe run up and see if we can knock one into them as we run past. Do a run past. They're all, oh wow, they're right in the hill. Told the infantry to attack and the archers to get on the crest of that hill. I'm sort of distracting them. They're throwing stones at me. Oh my god. Good throw. Ah, yeah, there's a bit of stuttering going on. Damn. Dodging stones left, right, center. All right, six, nobody died, six upgrades. Happy to see it, let's go. And then we'll purchase these uh, sheep, get the, jo get the job done. If we can go into another tournament, I'll go in as well. Let's just take this stuff on, we'll go through it later. All right, let's, oh, there's another tournament right here. Hmm, yeah, let's do it. Let's just see if we can win, come on. I can, I, surely I can prove myself now, right? Party's starving, losing five morale. That's okay, we'll get some food. You're all right. Uh, yeah, let's just sell all this, that's fine. You can actually kill horses for meat if you ever need to. Anything cheap? Yeah, grain and fish is getting cheaper. Good. All right, let's go to the arena. Join the tournament. So there's actually no famous lords and there's a uh, lords fighting, and there's a nasal helmet that you can win. My health might be a bit low though. I didn't actually check that before going in. It could be a problem sometimes. Uh, it's gonna be a one v one, me versus a crossman. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll bet a little bit. Why not? I'll bet 54. You only get the winnings, by the way, if you win the entire tournament, by the way. Oh, oh my god, I've got no health. Alright. I'm supposed to be proficient with a pole arm, so let's do this. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Alright, good. <laughs> All right, so intense. Um, good, we'll skip that round. So the next one is gonna be me versus a light cavalry guy, but it depends on obviously what gear we get given. I'm not gonna bet again. I'm gonna bet again, how can you not? Let's just do something very modest, 25 gold. I'm on horseback, one hit and I'm dead though. Oh my God. This is gonna be a nightmare actually fighting this guy because he's just gonna be right behind me the whole time. It's not going to do like a proper joust, you know? You can actually couch your lance. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm trying to like work. There we go. <laughs> Got him. Oh, come on, dude. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain. Freaking... 87, that's damn good. He's on the same health as me. Right, we've got a level playing field. I'm gonna couch the lance. Oh, nailed him. Nailed him. Couch lances are just so OP. 300 though. Alright, good. Easy peasy. Oh, God, put a little extra bet on me now. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the wrong number. Thir 15. So it's uh, red versus blue. I'm with the Vlandian Sergeant. We're against a Vlandian Cavalry and a Van Vlandian Vulgar. I've got a crossbow, are you kidding me? Oh god, I don't even know how to use these. Can I just use a sword? Oh, that's so not fair, dude. That's so not fair. <laughs> I didn't even get a hit in. Why did I have a crossbow and he had, um... Oh, I guess he had a sword as well. Damn, oh well. Close. Well, not really. Anyway, let's have, well, I guess we were second to the last round. Let's watch this last round, see what happens. 
Bulgaria and the Cavalry. So these two guys are with each other in the last match. Both have pikes. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, GG, I guess. We lost a bit of money on that one. At least we made it a bit further. Alright, let's go purchase our sheep. We have less money now. We need six wool. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six wool, 216. We're going to get nearly 800 for that, so that's good. I'll just lock that so we don't end up spending it. We have money now. We have food. So now we just have to make our way back to the town to finish that quest. So where was it? It was up by Ox Hall, wasn't it? All right, let's get going. If you can find any fights on the way. Do we have anyone to upgrade? Some footmen could upgrade into spearmen again. Let's just do two. And let's get moving. So focus points. Leadership perk. Two XP per day to all troops in the party. Increase recruit level of, of units of the same culture with you from the NPCs. Yeah... Or you could get higher tier troops, uh, more XP for higher tier troops. Now I'll do this XP for everyone. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess just focus the crap out of pole arms and stuff. Just make ourselves more proficient with this stuff. All right, I'm really just going to be head heading to hand in this quest. If we fight any more battles on the way, that's great. But that'll have to be probably it for this episode then. And uh, these episodes should come out pretty regularly, because it's not like I have any, like, forward planning or anything to do. But I might do things in between, like, fighting looters or just leveling up a little bit, because it can be slow, especially early game. Just going after guys all the time. We'll just head west. Back up to Ox Hall. Just need to make sure that is where I, I was supposed to go, right? Yep. Alright, good. We're pay spending 65 per day. So I guess if you were to factor in the amount of... <clears throat> Uh, money we spent traveling down and back there. Probably just about works out even. But it'll build favor with this guy, which is important. Let's talk. I have your peace to peace you. To you. Uh, about the task you gave me, I brought six loads of wool as agreed. 792, we gained two skill points in charm, and we're now 12. Other people didn't like it, though. I'm so grateful. Nice. Nice. Well, his relations increased. So now, with auto, we can now we can purchase like the next two tiers over, so that's nice. Allows us to get recruits a bit quicker, and eventually they won't just be recruits, they should be better troops too. Let's head up north, we haven't been there before, let's see if we can get one more battle today. Before we continue then, there's another eight, small group. Oh yeah, we need to buy, shit, I should have bought cavalry. There's actually... No, I'm looking for horses, settlements that deal, oh there is one there. Yeah, I might head there and see if we can get some cheaper horses. Uh, buy products. So, Sumter horses, not those. Workhorses, no. Round C, yes. They'll work. We could get at least one. It'll help a little bit. How horses are just damn expensive. 600 gold? Can I afford that? I Yeah. I'll do it. That'll speed us up a tiny bit. Footmen on horses, 0 0.01. Great. Yeah, we need a few more, I guess, to really notice the speed. Alright, one last battle would be nice. If we could just have a battle where I actually kill someone, that'd be good. What kind of quest do you have in here? Caravan ambush. Overpriced raw materials at Ostakin. Let's do that. Peace to you, stranger. So, what do you want? Yep. So, 621 if we could bring him one cow. Oh, that's fine. I'll bring you a cow. Easy. It's the same quest we just had, just did, but it's to get a cow instead. So cows, they can be purchased. Um, they're actually fairly hard to come by. You can purchase them pretty much anywhere in any town, but there is places that do them, especially like here. That's really far away. So I reckon I'll just have a look and see if we come across any. I mean, he'll give us 621 gold. To be honest, we could just check here. There's hogs, velvet, jewelry, oil, etc. Furs, 172 is too expensive. Wow, though. It says you can sell it at Ox Hall for 678. 
That can't be right. Let's buy one, see if that's true. 678 for a piece of fur? Uh, really, I should have bought the fur up here, I know, but whatever. Let's just make our way down. Whoop! There's those eight looters again. We'll have to let them go. Alright, yeah, this will be the last journey. See if we can make... I mean, even if I can make half that, that would be still twice the profit. I'm not paying everyone's wages. I will soon. Just let me... We just have to... I just need to sell this one thing. I promise. I have the money. Oh my god. It was right. 700 for one bundle? God, I wish I had more money to have bought m many more. I mean, we could do that trade a few times, possibly, but it, the markets will change. Um, so the other thing was buying that cow. If we can find one. And you could just check where we came from and see, like, what can we sell. So if we go by value, what's cheapest, and then see what you can sell it for at different towns. So the more faded the tooltip is, the more outdated the information. So you might... Like this says, you can sell grapes at Ostakin for 41. Hides at Ostakin for twice the value of this. I'll buy four of them. And we can do that. So we'll head to Ostakin, which is just over this way, isn't it? Oh, sorry. It's back where we just came from. Right, cool. Yep, all right. That's going to have to be the last journey. But let's try and get one last fight before the, we wrap up. I've gone very long with this first step. I feel like actually I'll probably cut out some of the walking. That might be a good idea. I'll just go through some of the walking, cut that out. You'll know ahead of me. But I wasn't planning on doing that, but I think it'd be good to trim down some of the fat for going from place to place. All right, let's just see if what we can trade this for. Hides? Uh, yeah, we're selling the, yeah, so we, we bought it for 50 something. It's not as good as it was saying, but it's not bad either. 370. All right, well, we made a little profit. Buy those furs again, could we? Well, I did just say, didn't I, that if we buy the furs up here, they'd be much better. I can't believe you can sell the furs locally like that. All right, let's see. Can we engage these mountain bandits? Nope, they're faster than me. Buy products for 246 for each one. It's so expensive. But again, Ox Hall seems to still have the pretty good prices there. It's a bit too expensive though, I'm just not going to do it. Because if, if one other caravan arrives, it completely kills my, all my, my chances. Alright, let's just chase these guys to the edge of the map. Oh, someone else is here. Sure, we'll just have a look at the other guys fighting as well. Alright, this will be the last fight. Yeah, whatever. Let everyone attack. So this is some other lord that was here, and we're just joining in. We're fighting eight looters. God love them. Is there any cavalry with us? No, there's cavalry there. They're hanging back. As they should. You can see my guys in blue. Hell yeah, front and center. Love to see it. Let's get my harpoon out. Do a long one just for fun. Wasn't a bad throw, actually. Alright, let's take out the lance. Oh, I missed. Hey, did they, they just stop before my guys got involved? Let, let us do all the work. Alright, did they get any kills? They actually did. Okay. We earned 65% of the loot. Good. <laughs> Two thirds of the battle was us. 99 gold. Enric, I don't think we've met properly, my friend. You just saved my life out there. <laughs> Definitely. All right, cool. Golden Boar Company. We got a cracked hatchet, a bunch of random stuff. We can sell that. Good. A little bit of leveling up. I think we lost one guy. Or he's wounded. No, we did lose one. Uh, yeah, and we have one recruit. Let's just level them up. Crosswomen. So seven crosswomen in total now. Six footmen and five spearmen. All right, that's going to have to be it for today. So 
in the next episode, you know, just going to be building up, fighting more looters, trying to fight bigger fights now against the bigger raiders and things. Maybe even clear a few hideouts, try to actually win a damn tournament. Because it's been fairly abysmal so far. Um, but that's going to be it. We have to also pick up some food. But things are generally looking good. We have, like, the same money we had at the start, but we've got 20 men now and... Or thereabouts, and a decent little bit of upgrading going on. So progress is a little slow, to be honest, but... It's just going to be that way for the first few episodes, and then it'll start really picking up pace. Uh, once we get some cavalry in the army, then we'll be moving much faster, be able to engage people way quicker as well. So, Also worth mentioning that I should be able to provide these videos a little bit earlier for channel members, because I'll probably record them in bulk of two or three at a time, and then release them over the course of a week, for everyone for free, obviously. But if you are a channel member and you just want to get everything all at once, you should be able to do that as well. Uh, just keep an eye out if you are a channel member. Those kind of videos should be there for you. All right, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Another 1,300. See, now we're properly making money. That's the way we go. All right, we'll, we'll be able to get some um, extra horses then. One, two, three, please. They're kind of expensive, but I'll, it's fine. That's how you do it. <laughs> Hit him in the back. <laughs> Through the head. Good aim. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> there we go. Nailed him again. Oh my god. The amount of bandits. We could, all, we could lose it all very easily if we get caught. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.